Right, guys. Um, so we're gonna go to the Lost City. Um, we're gonna do the Lost City, and then we're going to backtrack because this is a level with a green gem at the end of it, and that allows us to um, access the rest of the crates in the uh, jungle level at the beginning. Um, is it jungle rollers? Um, so yeah, we do have to get through this level without uh, losing a life. Uh, if you're losing the bonus stages, that doesn't matter. It's only sort of in the main stage. Um, and again, this is a, a fairly difficult level. But, um, but compared to some later levels, it's a cakewalk. Um, yeah, so up there, what you want to do is hold the X button because there was an exclamation mark box that's hidden. Uh, so you want to make sure you activate that. Um, that will activate this. We also have another bio bonus um, stage to look forward to. Um, <laughs> so, again, just a bundle of joy this level. Okay. Um, if you destroy both bats, it'll uh, stop any other bats from spawning and do a little oh jump God. here to get a mask is that going to knock me off <laughs> go um, I, I guess I'll keep this death in maybe because um, it's only been a minute and then um, yeah, that, that's the sort of first death that we've um, encountered in this game, I believe. Um, but yeah, I think in, in future, um, especially for some of the more complicated levels, um, if I am sort of losing lives a lot, um, I might just restart the level, um, restart the recording and, and keep the recording where sort of successful the first time oh yeah where it's uh, successful um, just to um, prevent you having to rewatch um, there we go. Uh, so yeah because we lost the life any lives that we did grab will be reset um, so you noticed when I did lose a life I did um, okay, I wasn't going to bother with this mask, but there we go. So that's probably what I should have done, actually. As soon as I got the mask, just go to the left, land on the platform. Uh, okay, learn that. Uh, there isn't any exclamation mark box up there, but I always like jumping on it just to be certain. Uh, but just to clarify, that's just me being a... Uh, what's the word? <laughs> okay, that was close, but yeah, you want to hop on top of there to get the MPO token. Again, we do need to get all of the tokens to get all of the boxes, um, so... Not all of the crates. Okay. And yeah, the reason I like having an extra mask in particular is for this pesky little crate. Okay, not too bad, but can be a little bit scary. And this game, or this level in particular, always reminds me of, uh, do you remember the film um, over Dangerfield, the sort of animated dog movie? Because <laughs> I was playing through this level, and my brother, my youngest brother, was watching Rob me. Uh, sorry, Rover Dangerfield. Um, and this jump can be a bit pesky, but if you want to sneak across, you can just go here. That might make it a little easier. Um, <laughs> so, just something to keep in mind. Ah, oh, dude. I didn't get enough of a bounce there. Okay, again, 
a little bit disappointing in that you actually end up losing a mask, uh, which is something that I would have liked to have kept if possible, but that's okay. Did it again. <laughs> um, so the reason I'm not getting the distance there is because I'm, I'm not holding the X button um, as I jump on that. Um, second TNT. No, the third TNT. Um, the reason I, I failed then was because I spun into the TNT. <laughs> Just in case you didn't notice. But, you know, sometimes it's nice to show you guys how not to play. <laughs> now that part was uh, I, I didn't seem to activate the TNT for some reason so I was a bit confused uh, I did want to let go of my jump button just to get a, a fresh start there we go okay. nice fourth time the charm or fifth time whatever it was nice there we go so um, yeah, it took us a couple of uh, well, a few attempts, but uh, we got a nice uh, few lives out of it. Um, yeah, I got rid of that dinosaur wizard thing there just so that I didn't have to um, deal with it after the stage. Uh, and yeah, sometimes it's um, I like to just activate the lizards. Now we need to time this. Um, oh, again, uh, don't feel the need to rush. Um, if you're a bit nervous, take your time, get used to the cycles. And uh, yeah, at, at some point it becomes second nature, but again, if this is sort of your first time playing for the game, um, I just want to spend a little time getting used to, used to it. Again, um, I would recommend, uh, especially if you sort of, um, this is actually, if you're going to get any gem, this is the level where I would recommend getting the gem. And there's a, a good reason for that when it comes to sort of the end game levels. Um, we'll, we'll explain that when we get there, but it'll give you access to a lot of lives. That, that could be useful for you. Okay got 33 crates to get. Uh, yeah, actually, when I was doing that um, Trash 1 base that I mentioned, earlier, do need to count. And yeah, when I was doing the Trash 1 base earlier, this is... Um, one level where I did make sure to get the gem. Um, again, it's uh, precisely for that. Because um, it activates a little shortcut in a later level. Um, so I think it's worth uh, the time investment here. I'll make sure when you're standing on the sort of outer extremities of, of these platforms that you're just getting off them as soon as possible get to a center um, and I don't know what's live up there but now you do need to make sure to jump on this fella just to activate switch up here. Uh, the box is automatically open, so hey, no complaints. <laughs> uh, phew. <laughs> Bit of an ordeal, but we've got through it. Um, now, I, I was wondering what order to do these things in. I think I want to get the gems, uh, or certainly get this gem as soon as possible, so we're going to go back. Um, we're going back to the second level jungle rollers. Now a good thing about coming back here actually is that we can stock up on our 
after your masks. Um, now you can notice a little gold clock. Um, that's for the time trial relics. Um, I'm not going to do that in this playthrough. Um, I'm just going to get all of the, the gems. Um, but yeah, that's something they added in the Insane Trilogy. You can do little time trials. Um, uh, at some point, I, I do want to stream getting all of the Platinum Relics. Um, that'll be over on Twitch. Um, but that, that'll be at some point next year, I should imagine. But um, I'm happy to upload and edit the uh, VODs um, for the successful runs. Um, people are interested in, in seeing that. But just know it might be a year or so. I'm just going to sneeze. Okay, hopefully I got to meet the mic before that happened. <laughs> Apologies if I didn't. Uh, but yeah, here we can see a... Um, I started to suppress it for so long as well. Uh, yeah, so this gives us access to these phase. I think it might be possible to get up here without needing the gem, but I think for purposes of this place to um, just do it sort of legit. <laughs> Again, that was just a little sneeze. Uh, so, um, yeah, you could sort of get a bit of an idea of how these um, gems work. Let's see what they can do this for the second time. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes they don't even do it once, uh, so to have done that twice, <laughs> I'm a bit proud of myself. Here we go. Give it to a bonus ago. Yeah, so you don't have to do the Torna bonuses in the PS1 version, but if you do complete the Torna bonus, you can actually access it again on a revisit. Obviously in the Insane Trilogy because you need them for the crates. Uh, you do necessarily have to uh, go into it a second on the revisit even if you completed it, but I thought it might be a neat idea to uh, maybe um, have you only have to do it once? I don't know. <laughs> so I think this one's been a bit of a longer part. Um, we'll end it. End it. We'll end it here, folks. And next time we'll be uh, tackling on. I think it's Temple Rooms. So I'll see you then. Bye.